Lighten up there. <laughs> Seriously, you're a very funny man. I saw that routine you did on Sullivan years ago. Darwin and the Monkeys, that routine, very funny. Funny, funny, funny. Actually, um, that Darwin piece outraged Bishop Sheen, who was in the audience. And Sullivan was torn as to whether to introduce him or not that night, fearing that his show had suddenly turned into Battle of the Network Theologians. Whatever. You knew Monkeys was funny. And that's the thing about us, Dick, because you know how to make people laugh. I know how to make people laugh. And uh, between the two of us, a lot of people enjoy themselves. How, how wonderfully inane. I, I thought so, yes. Um, is it difficult to perform all the critical functions on a film at one time? The writer, the director, di producer, star. That's an excellent question, Dick. A very good question. Mm, thank you. And uh, the funny thing is, it's right here in my book, which you forgot to plug, by the way. The Complete Filmmaker by Bobby Bittman. Which camera can I show this on? Right here. Now available in your bookstores. And it's right here in the prologue, Dick. Uh, I say, a filmmaker makes films. A complete filmmaker does more. Um, are you sure you didn't use a ghostwriter for this? <laughs> a ghostwriter? No, I didn't. That book took a lot of time, Dick. And I'll tell you something. It was a very interesting experience making funny stuff because it was just based on an idea that I had a long time ago, an idea rolling around in my head. It automatically transposed itself on paper. It took a long time to type those words on paper. And also, I had the great joy and privilege of hearing those words uh, spoken by great actors and performers. My words. And you know why I directed it, Dick? Oh, please tell us. Be <laughs> because I didn't feel at the time that any director, no matter how brilliant, could interpret my vision. <clears throat> that sounds like a wonderful lead-in to a, a clip. Well, we call them outtakes, Dick, and, uh, and I'll tell you the reason I brought these clips along, because it shows just how difficult it is. Well, first, let me set up what we're going to be seeing here. Uh, the film is about a man who was the president of the United States, and through a series of mishaps, which I can't get into now because it'll give it away, becomes a clown in a circus. Uh, this wouldn't by some chance be a, an unauthorized biography of Richard Nixon, would it? <laughs> Very good. Richard Nixon. No, it's, it's not, Dick. Uh, seriously, it, the, the clip shows just how difficult it is to... Nixon, that's very good. I never thought of that. Richard Nixon. Good parallel. Anyway. It shows how difficult it is to wear two caps at the same time. The writer's cap and the director's cap. Um, that's fascinating. Why don't we then look at outtakes from funny stuff? Now, this is called leader, Dick. Every number represents a second. Now, see, four, three, two, here we go. Adrian, what you do is funny stuff. This thing between us is growing. It's getting bigger every day. It's like a boil that's festering and getting ready to burst. And I don't want this to happen to us. Yeah. Sweetheart, I think we better do it again because... Oh. Cut! Cut! It was very nice, it was very nice, but you know, you know what I think it was? It, punch the 14, take eight. Action! Adrian, what you do is funny stuff. But this thing between us is growing. It's getting bigger every day. It's like a boil. It's festering and getting ready to burst. I don't want this to happen to us. I don't want to lance you. Sweetheart. I think you did it better on the last take. I'm, I'm sorry, I cut everybody. That's a cut. Everything was fun. Boyle was punched beautiful. It was really marvelous. But yeah. I think that, uh, that your intonation was better. Please, I'm giving notes, sweetheart. Your intonation was better on the last take. And you'll do it right because I'm the director and that's my job. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right, everybody. Are we shooting a funny movie here? <laughs> All right, here we go. Slate in. 
Funny stuff, 14, take nine. <laughs> Action! Adrian, what you do is funny stuff. But this thing between us is growing. It's getting bigger every day. It's like a boil. It's festering. And what? Who yelled that? What? You lost the light. You lost the light. We lost the scene here. What are you doing yelling, Cod? I'm the director. Nobody yells Cod on my set. <laughs> Nobody but me. You lost the light. We lost a piece of brilliance here. I want his name. That's quite bizarre. It sort of had a, um, a fascist tone to it. That poor girl seemed so frightened. That was uh, Patty Donner, Dick, a marvelous actress and uh, wonderful to work with from a director's standpoint. I, I, I can't help but notice that uh, your reaction was weird to that. You didn't like it? It was appallingly crude, to be honest. Um, are you always like that? Dick, can I, can I say something, uh, just to interject here? As a comic turned director in all seriousness, don't think I haven't been noticing those little uh, eye things that you're doing there, uh, like you're talking down to me. I, I can read through those flowery, well-worded put-downs. Do I, do I sense some paranoia here? <laughs> you know something, Cavett? I don't like you. You know, I, I, never, uh, I never went to Harvard. I never uh, got a degree. I didn't get to wear the sweaters with the letter on the pocket. Is, is there any reason that you're standing at this point? Yes. Yes, there is. I'm leaving. Um, we certainly didn't expect this to... Um happen. I guess all we can do is, uh, <clears throat> in an odd kind of way, uh, wonder at which point we began to fester, if you'll excuse the expression. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, and for those of you here in the studio, a little later, or something like that, good night. <laughs> Thank you.